Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. The company we're working with today is Beauty Forever Hair. I'm gonna show y'all what comes inside the packaging. You get a, let me open it. You get a silk scarf. This is your silk scarf, it's super long. You also get a new wig cap. And of course you get your wig. Now this wig is special. This is a 40 inch HD 5x5 lace closure wig. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the wig, y'all. Do y'all see how long this is? Yes. So let me show you the inside construction. You have a comb right here, a comb right here, and a comb on the bottom. And you also get an adjustable strap. Once again, this is a five by five lace closure HD wig. So you get five inches going down and then five inches going across. This is the lace slant across my skin. I'm trying to get the hair out of the way. Okay, there we go. Hello, give me, pardon me. <laughs> Do you see that? That's the HD lace. The knots are slightly bigger than normal, but it's nothing bad. And the hairline does come pre-plugged. Let me let y'all get into that. I want y'all to really see the pre-pluggedness of it. Yeah, this is, and you know what? I only got one strand of hair. This is some soft hair. Um, I love when long hair comes in closure units because when it comes with frontal units, the frontal will be like 20 inches and then the hair will be so long in the back and it just be, uh. But with closure units, it's although it's the 20 on the closure, you still have that 40 inches on the side. So it's pretty much like 40 inches all the way around. So yeah, we finna slay this so stay tuned. All right, y'all, jumping straight into it. Meet my model, my makeup artist, Selena. We love her. We're going to use our Ruby Kisses Level 11, the lightest shade in the palette. We're going to put that all over the closure. And we have previously put it on her ball cap. So now we're going to position the wig on her head, making sure that the hairline of the closure is in front of her ball cap some. Once we get it positioned in place, we're going to use the adjustable straps in the back to secure the wig. And then we're also going to sew this wig down today just for extra security.
shit on, do not disturb. Can't get make a fuck with a jerk. Two, 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 hot shot, third. Let my phone. That shit on, do not disturb. The adhesive we'll be using today is Hold Me Down Adhesive by Hair by Erica J. We're going to apply a thin layer across that ball cap and on the skin, and we're going to smooth it back as thin as possible. You want to make sure you have no lumps and clumps, that way your wig can be secured properly. Today we're going to do four layers. You want to make sure that you let each layer turn completely clear before you apply the next layer. Our fourth layer is dry, now it's time to lay that lace down. You want to use the teeth of the comb to help you push the lace into the skin. And then we're going to take our blow dryer on hot air at first and start blow drying that lace into the skin. And then we're going to hit it with some cool air just to make sure that it cools back down, the glue dries back down, and everything is secured into place. And now you just want to go ahead and tie your lace down with your elastic band. This is just going to give you the ultimate meltdown. And it's going to make sure your lace is super secured into place. I went ahead and sprayed the entire um, wig with Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray before I blow dried it. I wanted to blow dry the hair as straight as I can get it just to make sure I have a sleek, clean canvas for my crimps. If I didn't mention, I did dye this wig jet black off camera and I also bleached the knots. It's just something about that jet black hair. It's just so sleek, shiny, and sexy. I just love it. Jet black hair is always a win-win. Now it's time to take that elastic band off and proceed to cut that excess lace using our eyebrow razor. You probably can't even see the lace. <laughs> Shout out to the HG lace though. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut that off using our eyebrow razor. Make sure you cut in like a jagged motion if you are using shears.
We're going to take our She Is Mom Collection Wax Stick and our Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray. And we're going to make sure her middle part is aligned with her nose and her forehead. And we're just going to go ahead and proceed to hot comb that down. Um, once we hot comb that down, I'm going to separate the hairs that I'm going to use for my two baby hairs. I'm just doing two swoops on the side. But I want to go ahead and separate those hairs so we can proceed to melt that lace in and go ahead and have those hairs um, molded in the direction that I need them to go. And if you see all that smoke, y'all, I be spraying oil sheen on my hot comb. I just feel like it makes my hot comb hotter in my head, you know. It probably doesn't. It probably just creates a bunch of smoke that I don't need to be inhaling, but I don't know. <laughs> just get with it. <laughs> And now we're going to take our hairspray and spray it over the entire lace. This is going to give you the ultimate meltdown. And while that lace is melting into the skin, we're going to hot comb this closure some more because I just need it as flat as possible. I just need it just flat as flat can get. I took the elastic band off, y'all, and look at how laid that lace is. Look at how laid that closure is. It's laying like a full lace wig, just flat. Just how we like it. Now it's time to cut those um, hairs that we're going to use for the baby hairs. And then we're going to take our mousse and our edge comb brush. And we're just going to swoop those into place and tie them down with our wrap strips. And then we're going to get into these crimps, the main attraction.
I'm using my Ion Triple Barrel Waiver. Once again, my Ion Triple Barrel Waiver. You can get it on Amazon or at Sally Beauty Supply. I'm going to spray my free spray all along the piece of hair on the front side and the back side. I'm going to comb it out about three times just to make sure everything is smooth. And I'm going to start crimping the hair. I'm crimping the hair on the highest degrees, which is 450. And you just want to press it. I think I leave, I press down for like seven to 10 seconds. And then I go down and you want to um, start the next crimp on the last crimp that you just did. I don't know that, you know, just look and see what I'm talking about, you know. Crimping does take a while, y'all. It took me about, I think, maybe like an hour and 30 minutes to crimp all of this hair. But yeah, in the end, like the end result just be laid. And crimps is a style that lasts. That's like the longest lasting style you can do on the wig. Like curls, you know, they drop quick. You know, bone straight, you're gonna have to press it that next day. But crimps, crimps be in there. Like, you can't even like straighten the crimps out. You you have to wash the hair to get the crimps out pretty much. Cause like those indentions still be in the hair. But let me stop rambling.
Don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a vibe in it. Where I'm from, they say the soda drink. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pull it vegan, but still be filming me again? How the fuck you seen so many beaches? Tickets to them places don't come cheap, yeah. I see it back in search, remember who took it at first, but don't you forget it. That's your whip, then you got back on your shit, I had to tell Eric, go get it. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last, I feel like it's taken for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handled it. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Man, she's not in six with nothing around you. Can't get Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different about me. And before I finish my last set of crimps, I go ahead and take that wrap strip off and, you know, make sure the baby hairs are in place good. And now I'm just plucking that part out, making sure that everything is good. You know, I'm in my zone. I always bite my lips. I don't even be noticed. I be biting my lips. Now I'm taking my black spray and we're just spraying that all along the part. I like my part super clean, defined and sharp, you know. Real crisp. This is like a this is like a southern thing, you know. This is a Georgia foil thing. We a lot of us do this, you know. We just like clean parts. And um after I take that off, I'm gonna finish crimping the rest of the wig. And just a pro tip, when defining your part, instead of normally, you know, like how most people use concealer, opt out for the concealer and use like a powder foundation. It's going to give you a more natural looking part than the concealer. The concealer is very creamy and oily and the powder foundation is like dry looking, like a scalp is, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, try that powder foundation and tell me how you like it in the comment section below. As you can see, honey, everything about that is just laid. It just ain't even nothing to say after that. Period. Point blank. I 
Control has never been a thing. Don't think it up, but there's a ring with a vibe in it. Where I'm from, they serve the soda drink. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pull it vegan, but still be filming me again? How the fuck you swing so many beaches? Tickets to them places don't come cheap, man. I see it back in search, remember who took it first, so don't you get it. Now my crimps are done, I went ahead and sprayed Beyond the Zone on the hair and I combed them out really quickly using my wide tooth comb in my hand. Although the crimps look like they turned out really, really frizzy, they actually aren't. Once she um starts moving again, you'll see like they'll come together again. It's kind of hard to explain. It's okay to comb your crimps out after you do them. However, don't comb them out with like a rat tail comb or like a brush. You want to do it with a wide tooth comb or either with your fingers. And as you can see, honey, these crimps is laid, honey. That jet black, the 40 inches, the closure, everything. Like, I told y'all, stop playing with Slay by Jordan. 2021, I'm coming with it. Make sure you check the description box below for all information on this wig and how to book an appointment with me and also how to book a class with me. I thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And turn on that notification bell, girl. Goodbye.